All right. So um, <clears throat> I, I was on a call with a customer today, and uh, they were talking about um, a system that they had that did not integrate with Roost. And uh, they were asking about how, you know, do they get information in and out and uh, to talk to their their system that we unfortunately did not have an integration with. So uh, I mentioned that they asked that Roost had an API and we do not, um, but you can sort of build one uh, within Roost. So uh, what I did was I went, came up with a little example on um, a workflow that you can trigger by going to a URL, which will then send data. In this case, uh, we're gonna send uh, the results of a uh, graph get users command back to another application that doesn't natively integrate with Roost. Um, this application that we're using is uh, going to be webhook.site, uh, which we are not affiliated with, but uh, is a great website. I use it all the time in testing uh, to see what data looks like coming in or going out of Roost. Um, so uh, it's it's really quite simple. It's a it's a workflow that has a webhook trigger. Uh, if you click on it, you can see that we're utilizing the core webhook trigger uh, and uh, we're allowing get requests of it, uh, which just returns the request back to them. Uh, and we have it enabled for just our organization. So when you go to this uh, URL, you'll see it gives you back some information about your request, but more importantly, it kicks off the workflow and then sends a post to webhook.site with a list of the users from graph. So by utilizing commands like this, you can essentially create endpoints within Roost to do anything really that you have integrated with into Roost or even not integrated in um, to send data in and out. Um, and I know this is a very simple concept um but uh, i'll go through the steps you know we have our start we have our graph which actually pulls the data back and then we have our post to uh the url now this post url could very easily be uh data posted to the webhook trigger here so you could maybe supply it um a url that you want it to return the data to here in your trigger you would just add a post option and then when you post the data to this you could reference that information and then send it to any url you want uh, and then the body obviously we're just including the graph users uh, so we go in and we take uh, the results of that and we send back the list of the display names uh, that's how you turn roost into its own api to be able to make and receive calls to any endpoint you design.